delicious pizza the other day that has no meat in it. It's a meatless pizza. It was so unbelievably good. So those of you who are my vegetarian friends or who are looking for some meatless options, uh, this one is for you, a spinach pizza that is to die for. So come on along and lean and green with me. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey and I'm using Optavia's 5-in-1 program. The Optavia 5-in-1 program works where you have five of their fuelings which come to you in your monthly Optavia box and you eat those between two to three hours a day spread out throughout the day. And then you also get one lean and green meal, which consists of five to seven ounces of lean protein. Sometimes you add in healthy fats, depending on how lean your protein is. And you get three greens and up to three condiments to make your lean and green meals. So I have learned how to make cauliflower crust. This is one of my cauliflower crusts. I make a bunch of them and I freeze them. You can stack them right on top of each other. They don't stick to each other. They freeze super well. This one still is a little bit frozen, but that's okay. I can cook it from frozen and put the toppings on and it still works really well. And if you want the recipe for my pizza crust, then I will link that down below and you can click on that afterwards and watch how to make these. Honestly, they're super easy and they're so good. Before I give you the rest of the ingredients for my pizza though, would you please just scroll down, give me a thumbs up, let me know you like this kind of content, you wanna see more pizza recipes, you wanna see more lean and green recipes, give me that thumbs up, it really does help my channel. And if you haven't already subscribed, I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my channel and that way you can see more of my videos and get notification when I post new content. So as I said, um, I need to start out with one of my cauliflower crusts. I also have some spinach. I'll weigh this out in a minute. I have some frozen spinach and I'm going to, that I've squeezed the water out of already. So that is ready to go. I have some 2% cottage cheese that is considered a, uh, a leaner. And then I have some, I've got two different bags and I might need a little bit more cheese, but I'm looking for um, two thirds of a cup of mozzarella. This one has a little bit of provolone, but it still fits into the reduced fat, six grams of calories, uh, six grams of fat or less on the cheese to be reduced fat. And then grated Parmesan cheese, again, less than six grams of fat. This one actually has one and a half grams uh, per serving, so this one definitely fits in. And I'm also going to use some red pepper flakes as one of my condiments. So these two things are condiments for me. The green is the other green that I need to balance out. So my crust is two greens, one condiment. So this is going to make three greens. That's going to make three condiments. And then the cheese is going to make up my lean. Let me show you how to put this together. The first thing that I need to do then is I need to weigh out the mixture that I'm going to put on my pizza. And I'm going to start out with one greens worth of frozen chopped spinach, which is three and three, 3.35 ounces. So I've got my bowl on the scale. I zeroed out the scale and I'm just going to measure out three and probably that's three and two eighths. I'm gonna do like three and three eighths. Ooh, that was way more. Still too much. There we go. So here's my green. So that's my one green of spinach. And then I need to have, I'm gonna zero out my scale again. And I need four ounces of this cottage cheese. That would be half of a cup. So four ounces of 2% cottage cheese. If you did 1%, um, then you would have to give up a little bit of, you'd have to add in a little bit of fat. So there's four ounces exactly of the cottage cheese. And then, just leave my spoon in there, zero off the scale again. And I need two thirds of a cup. So one cup is eight ounces, 
half of a cup is four ounces. So I'm gonna do just a little more than five ounces, maybe, um, cause I don't need quite two thirds of a cup. And I'm gonna see if I can do, that's gonna be three quarters of an ounce. Not a math teacher. 2.66 is what I'm looking for. So a little more than two and a half ounces. Back some of this cheese out. There we go. So I've got my cheese in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this up. That's just spinach, but. My oven has preheated to 450 degrees. I like it super hot. So I'm gonna take this mixture and I'm gonna mix this really well until I have the cheese, the spinach, the cottage cheese really well combined. So I don't have pockets of spinach. I don't have pockets of cottage cheese. And you can see this makes a very large amount of filling and it is going to just cover this crust and it's gonna be fairly thick and that's okay. I have my crust on a silicone baking sheet. If you want to use a parchment to line your baking sheet, then that's, that would be fine as well. And then I'm just going to kind of work this close to the edges as it bakes. It's going to melt over the edge anyway. So get this worked out to the edges and then I'm gonna pop this into the oven for about 18 to 20 minutes. And I wanna make sure that the cheese gets thoroughly cooked, that it gets very bubbly and golden. And then when it comes out, I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of red pepper flakes. So I'll show you what this looks like after I bake this 18 to 20 minutes at 450 degrees. Before I get too far, I totally forgot to put in my, to sprinkle on my two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Again, this is one of my condiments. And this will help make that top nice and crispy as well. All right, back in the oven for the rest of the time and I'll be right back. Would you look at that? That is going to be an unbelievable pizza. It is bubbly, sizzly, crispy, a little bit of brown on the cheese. This is really, really tasty. And I had this um, earlier on Friday, just a few days ago. I was amazed at how good this is. It is definitely a pizza recipe that I will repeat quite often. Um, the cottage cheese, like it's not like you're eating spoonfuls of cottage cheese. It just makes it taste so good. Please give it a try. Even if you think you don't like cottage cheese, give it a try. Um, it is so good. If you are one of my vegetarians, this is going to be something really good. I hope that you will try it and that you will like it. And until I see you next time, please live in the light. <laughs>